Hi, this is Angela Gower Johnson from ultimatedreamproject.com. So today I'd love to talk to you a bit about creating products. So what if creating products is so much easier than you could ever imagine? I mean, what if it is? Like, what if it can be just a no-brainer, fun, the next step that you do? So the first step in creating a product is to stop looking at what other people are doing and using it against you. So in my other video, I was talking about how you can use other people's success to support you in having success. And you simply do that by looking at someone else's success and asking, what would it take for something like that to show up for me? Or what would it take for something like that or better to show up for me? So that's the first step with that. Then you have to look at what is fun for you. There is no point in trying to create a product doing something that you don't like to do. I had a really short contract with someone once, um, a coaching contract, and she wanted to create a product. And for some reason, she was trying to do it in a way that wasn't working for her. So I believe that what she was looking to do was to have it all written, but she's not a writer. She is a talker and she really wanted a product, but she had bought into having to have like a manual and an ebook and somehow someone had told her and she bought into the story that she needed an ebook and that had to be her product. And I was like, well, on a scale of one to 10, how much fun would it be for you to create an ebook? And she said, it's like a negative 20 or something. She didn't really say that. She said it was like a zero. I'm saying like negative 20 because she wasn't a writer and it just was never going to happen. I mean, well, it could have happened, but it just would have been a bit like her eating dog poo or something. It just was not going to be something that she enjoyed in any way, shape or form. If you're trying to create a product and you would pretty much rather eat dog poo or, or even dog food, I don't know, I mean, dog food would be better, then I would say, dude, that's not the product for you. Really, you need to be looking at something else because the key in this is to be finding something that you actually enjoy doing that is actually fun and easy for you to do. So for me, when I had my knickers in a twist over doing products, it was because I was looking at what other people were doing and it was not something that I could do on my own and I didn't have the money to invest in people to, you know, do things like create the graphic design for a CD and then get CDs made because I don't know where you live, how much it costs, but over here it's really expensive and it just was like too much faffing about and too much external influence. And to be honest, there's some things that I really like other people to do, but I'm also a tiny bit of a control freak. And I prefer things being done in-house. So anyway, for me, doing the products was easy because I had a great husband who said, just record your calls when you're coaching people. Just record your group coaching calls. And so that is what I did. And then I expanded out a bit. Um, then I started getting some video of the intensive seminars I was doing. And there you go, product made. And I didn't bother, you know, packaging it up because that is not important to me. For me, the content is important. So you also have to look at what your priorities are and what's important to you because you're not making this for someone else. You might think that you're making this for someone else and other people will tell you that you're making this for someone else. And I'm going to tell you that you're not because you have to be happy with this. You have to have a level of ease and peace and happiness with this. You have to be able to really like it and to have liked the process to a certain extent for you to be able to sell it. So again, for me, having something in a CD case and a CD cover with a label on it has no value. I mean, for me, I would get pretty friggin' annoyed if I went to buy a product from someone and it was like in the States and I had to order it and wait for it to be shipped to me slow mail. 
no way. I'm like, now, give it to me now. <laughs> That's what I want. I want it now. Yesterday, preferably. If I find out about someone today, I want their products yesterday. I'm not waiting two weeks for something to be shipped to me. So, I mean, that's where I'm functioning from. You know, you need to be able to be authentic with your product. And by that, I mean, meaning that you actually like it, that it's something that you would like. And it doesn't matter if I would like it. What matters is that you like it. And you might be like, Angela, you don't know what you're talking about. And I would say, maybe you're right, but maybe you're wrong. You know, maybe you are creating a product that you're happy with, and when you do that, then people would like buying it. But if you're creating a product because you think it's going to be what someone else wants, you're just kind of banging your head against a brick wall, and you're not going to enjoy the process as much because you're not going to get it. You have to be able to, you know, really get it in your heart. It has to mean something to you. You know, so all my products mean something to me. And I'm fine with it if it doesn't mean anything to you because, you know, it means it will mean something to someone else and it means something to me and I know the value of it. So, yeah, that's um, a little bit of information about creating a product. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.